Hi guys, welcome to Longshot Larry Sports Astrology, having a look at an NBA game today. Sacramento Kings are away to the Oklahoma City Thunder. Sacramento are favourites, are going to be Virgo on the Senate and its ruler Mercury, which also rules the MC. Oklahoma are Pisces on the Descendant, ruled by Jupiter, and also on the IC, and Saturn rules the part of Fortune. Nothing going on from the Frawley method in this chart here. We do have one indicator down here. The anticipator of the part of fortune is in the fourth, but that's not overly strong, but that is one for the underdog. A couple of exact aspects going on here. You can see that uh, Mars is directly on the MC, which is going to have a very prominent influence over this game. The moon is just separating from a trine to Saturn one minute. Saturn does rule the part of fortune, but it is separating. You might be able to argue that's one for the favorite. And Mercury here will form an exact semi-square to Jupiter during the game. So you've got a couple of things going on. we got the Sacramento coach, Mike Brown. He's very closely aligned to this moon, trine, Saturn, and the moon will then go on and quincunx Pluto. So Saturn is aligned with his Mercury. Mercury is square his Neptune natally, which rules his Piscean sun, but it's also sextile Mars. Pluto is square his Mars and semi-square his Sun. And also Mars at the top here is semi-square his Saturn applying one degree. So complicated pattern for Mike Brown. If we look at the first game chart for Oklahoma, Mars is forming a trine to the Sun, which is important, I think. It's one degree away, but that is a nice aspect. And if I look at the Oklahoma City coach, Mars is sextile his Leo Sun, which is, so Mars is in a good position for Oklahoma, I believe. Also this Mercury-Jupiter aspect, well Jupiter is in a good spot, Jupiter is square his Venus quite closely, and his solar, so it's somewhere around there, which can be excessive joy, and it's also trying his Mars quite closely, somewhere around there, so he looks pretty good overall. So if we look at this game in summary, there is a slight indication for the underdog, I believe. It's only a slight one though from the Frawley method. If I look at the patterns here, the Sacramento coach has a pretty complicated pattern which could go either way. The Oklahoma coach looks pretty good and I think that Mars is probably in a very... Is, Mars is in a good position for Oklahoma, so they are the underdogs, so I think they're a pretty good chance to get the upset win in this case. So thanks for watching. Please like, subscribe, and we'll see you in the next one.